Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just want to talk about ethics and Darwinianism. And uh, basically, what are the ethics that you get out of an evolutionary model? If society is about survival of the fittest, then how does that relate to ethics? And if that's what the evolutionary model is, why are we suppressing it and say, no, it's not about survival of the fittest? But that's what the evolutionary model is. So are we saying that we're suppressing the evolutionary model and that we're not going to be, it's not going to be about the most fittest, the most able, or not? It seems to me that there comes a point where the weaker members of our society, those who are elderly or disabled, if you were consistent with an evolutionary model, you would have to take them out in order to preserve the resources for the fittest people. So, for me, you can't really base your ethics on an evolutionary model. It's better to ditch it and get to the Christian model, which is love thy neighbour as yourself and that every individual is respected and loved in the eyes of God. <coughs> Anyhow, there's more to this than meets the eye. Let's have a debate about it. Is the Darwinian model helpful for ethics? I don't think it is. I think it's a bad, bad thing to base your ethics on. I'm going to link to a couple of articles, read them and debate it. Let me know what you think. Take care.